Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, we have a fun little surprise for everybody today. Uh, all my quests are green spells, so we're going to go ahead and make our profile green. Uh, and Magic the Arena has added this new mode, N19 Exploration. Uh, the rules are you can play two lands per turn, starting hand size is 9, and you have no maximum hand size. 40 card deck. So, if you play two lands per turn, that means three drops, not as good. Two drops, four drops, six drops. Very good. Uh, I read that you should be playing around 19 to 20 lands. And really, you know, prioritizing card draw, big bombs, all that stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and do this new mode that I've never tried up before. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. What a fucking pack. Uh, we're going to take the War Leader. This card is just stupid, stupid, stupid good. Can you imagine dropping this on turn two? Uh, but Luminous Bonds is extremely exciting. Meteor Golem in this format, I bet, is pretty good. And Pegasus Course is good. Uh, Inferno Hellion combos with some of the red-green stuff, uh, which I'm sure green is probably a color interested in playing, uh, being, you know, bigger drops. But we're obviously going to be taking the War Leader. Oh, that's nice, 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 nice. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> I'm playing white. So, I want either Salvager Secrets. Gaspark Twins. I think you just want Gaspark Twins right now. I think you just take the big bombs. That's the way this format works. Uh, Stringwing Spores? Not Spark Ten Dragon. Yo, this is hard. Okay, so the best cards are probably Stringwing Spores or Drew of the Cow and then Spark Tomb Dragon and then Sky Scanner. I like the idea of Sky Scanner, but it probably just doesn't do enough. So removal high priority for sure, right? Or do we just take the Spark Tomb Dragon? I think you just take the Spark Tomb Dragon. Uh, we'll be taking the Rabid Bite. It's very good removal. Uh, and I have the test. I mean, I should be I should be being a little bit smarter about what I'm doing here. I mean, we're definitely playing white. And right now it looks like we're playing white green. So we're gonna avoid the Filled Sea Serpent for now and take another Night of the Tusk. Star Crown Stag this late is awesome. Um I'm gonna take Salvager Secrets, but I don't think we'll be playing blue. On it just to have it. Basically, I'm just taking what I think are the best cards. I maybe should have taken the regrowth there. Ooh, 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 ooh man, shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Johnny's primary is good, but I don't think we want to be doing Johnny's primary right now. So, <sighs> are we? I mean, we're definitely playing white. There's no way I'm not playing Leon and War Leader. So, and Star Crown Stag. Question is, would we play Arcades? Four mana, three five. Flying Vigilance, or would we rather just have Angel of the Dawn? I 
think Angel of the Dawn is the safer pick. Well, I do like the idea of Star Crown Stag just to get through some damage, but we're going to take Angel of the Dawn. I like another Spark Tongue. Luminous Bonds or Rapid Bite. God, we're going to take the Luminous Bonds because um, we know we're going to be playing white. Sleep is a very good card. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm excited. Oh, is Essence Scatter or Sip better? We're going to take Sip. Wendell. Bristling Boar is maybe the best card in the pack, but we're going to take Omen Speaker. I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. What the fuck a deck am I going to play? Okay, time to start taking this seriously. We're not playing black. That's what I know. What are my, let's start with what are my good cards. I don't know that calling Twindle is good is realistic. Rocks are cool or Colossal Dreadmall? It's probably Colossal Dreadmall, right? I don't need another Dwindle for any reason. There's no world. We'll take the dual land. I don't think. Oh god. Oh. I'm like I'm just not excited about any of this. Strike rate. Right? God damn, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm being so fucking greedy. I want to play like. Oh, Jesus. I want to play white for sure. I want to play green for sure. My blue is pretty good too, and my red is not so good. We're definitely not playing black, at least I can say that. Take Daggerback Rasselus. We can kill anything. Or Bristling Boar. Or Salvager, so we can get back Sift and Sleep. Salvager doing Sleep twice just sounds broken as hell. Yeah. I'll take the boar. I'll take the first thing, boar. Wow. Wow. What a fucking pack. Okay. Response. Very happy to take the stag here. Take the Dreadma. Take the Rox Oracle. Take another Dreadma. 
Talons of Wildwood seems good because we can keep it back and kind of force through the damage. Which is going to be hard. I don't think we're playing any of these cards, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, let's figure this out. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. We're just going to empty our whole deck and start from the beginning. <laughs> I think we have to play green, and I think we have to play white, so we'll start with that. Play both of those, play that, play that, play that, play that, play that, 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 that. Okay. Now, the real question, do we splash blue? I don't think, like, what I'm excited about in red is the Spark Tomb Dragon. But that is a big, big commitment to red mana. I think what I'd rather do is splash the Sith, the Sleep, the Salvager, the Omen Speaker, the Field Sea Serpent, and the Dwindle. And how many lands is this? This is 17. So we're going to play 20 lands. Oops. There's some kind of like color coder thing where you could see how many you've done of each. What do I care about the least? What's what do I need? I need the I need the white first and foremost, white and blue maybe, and then green. That's why the latter ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the real question is, I can't deal with fires, do I think uh, we'll take Towns of Wildwood, that seems like a good thing. I don't know that we have time to do it all around that much, but we'll go ahead. So we'll say Bant Exploration. Bant War Leader. So my gut is, since we can play two lands per turn, we're going to see a lot more land. We're playing 20 lands. It's easier to splash that third color. So that's what I'm banking on. You start with nine as well. We'll see how this goes. Hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. I want you got to me. <laughs> I wonder, does it take our ranking? No, there's no ranking in this mode. We're gonna go ahead and keep. I wish we'd have one more land. Probably wasn't a keep, was it?
Yeah, card draw is huge in this format. That divination. I wish we would have taken one of those divinations that we saw. Kill that. That's when you block up your Greenwood Sentinel. Six. Oh man, having all these six traps stuck in our hand feels terrible. God damn. Nice. I think this is a good game. I think this is a good game. That was quick, that was fun. Probably needed like do we have any more card draw? No, we're not playing. Comfortable chill. It just feels too slow, doesn't it? instead. Man, we need one more land. So yeah, I guess you're really looking more for like that four or five lands in your opening hand or something like Sift. Planeswalker B42. I really don't want to go 0-3, man. I don't want to go 0-3 with like me being kind of smart about how this format works as well. If you go first, we have to mulligan this. And I should have mulliganed the last one because like going down one card here is not as big of a deal. Right? You go down to 8 plus the scry. God damn. I keep saying that. Are we playing 20 lands? Because it sure doesn't feel like it. Ping me. That's what you do. Oh, 
That's weird. It's just a straight up bad play. No, yeah, you see, I fucked up, not, I needed more card draw. He's living the dream right now. I feel like he's forgetting that you can... Please draw a blue source. Come on. These games go so fast. <laughs> you got another dwindle? Source, blue source, blue source. It's a weird choice. And by weird, I mean bad. Quite dead yet, buddy. Good sea serpent. So many more cards than us. You know how bad that feels? I wish we had like Bone to Ash in this deck. And by that I mean I wish we had a second blue source. <laughs> God, I don't want to go in three. I really don't want to go 0 and 3. Oh no. If I do that, tap down his 3 2.
need a white source or a blue source. A white source or a blue source. <clears throat> He's stabilized. It's going to be one blue source, man. One blue source and we win. So let's see, if we attack with this. Tap down his frilled sea serpent he has, and then he's all tapped on mana. We're gonna do this. Tap down his frilled sea serpent. Him being out of mana helps us a lot here, because his ravenous heartbeat he could sack the skeleton archer, but I mean it doesn't help us out a lot. No, it doesn't help us out a lot. It helps us some. I don't think he can win here, right? Because he can block the 6 damage with the toughness he has. That's all of it. If he blocks with less than it, then it's going to carry through and do more. So he can block like here. He can block like here. That's Trample, right? Nice. Read them and weep. Maybe we don't need the green... This early, the double green. Let me look at our deck again. Well, no, we're not playing. I'm not playing less of the green than any other color, so we're actually good where we're at. One and one. One and one. <sighs> Thank God we're not going to go on three. Hopefully we don't have to mulligan into some bullshit starting hand again. We should on average have four and a half lands in our starting hand. See, I think I'd rather keep this and just hope to god we don't draw. But even then we have the uh... We have the Rocks Oracle on turn three to draw some cards. Essence Gator? No. Let's go ahead and play Max Oracle. See, this is like how the format's supposed to be played. And hopefully he doesn't have a... Uh... Sure. Sure. Do you have sleep? Does he have sleep? I bet he has sleep. I bet he has sleep and that's why he didn't block.
That's not sleep. Or can you cast a sleep? I feel like you, if you had sleep, you would cast it right then. So unless he was... No, he doesn't have it. Very odd. Like he surely must have sleep. Yeah, everything about this is wrong. Now he can do three, six, seven. I think we have to go, unless we can play. Or will we play Luminous Bonds and Salvager Secrets? Five. No, we just play Classical Gemma and hope he can't do 11 next turn. Might be really good. He might have known that like he didn't need the cast sleep to survive. I still think he would have just cast in that spot. It would have still been a really good just kind of blowout. Gonna do one one life, huh? Take vengeance is pretty good against me right here. He has three cards in hand, I don't. Come on, just sleep. You can't attack, buddy. Should clear his entire board because he has to have enough toughness in front of it to kill. So that's only block. Just gotta block it right now. Yep, yeah, that kills that board, and then you got to block there. to have removal for this. If he does, yes. Nice, 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 nice. A 
Okay, we'll probably take a break for now, for tonight. Yeah, we'll take a break. Because if I lost, it'd be, it could be a really short video when we come back. So, uh, hope you guys are enjoying watching some of this stuff. Uh, and we'll be, it's helping me get all my quests done, so that's nice. It's kind of weird that they're not all at the same spot. I thought I got them all at the same time, but I must not have. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.